doing this tutorial but I will share my practical experience in C Sharp Inform Development. I will guide you on how to build a cross-platform apps, web, mobile, and desktop application. Our first lesson is how to connect from our database server. I have here the topics that we are going to do. SQL connection string, testing the connection, using the fconfig in Windows form to store our server credential before starting our project you need to have a Visual Studio SQL Express server and also basic knowledge in C Sharp for this lesson I already have created a demo database which will be used by our project do we start first let's create our project So let's open our Visual Studio. I already have my Visual Studio 2019, but you can do it in every version of Visual Studio. So let's create a project on WinForm. So use Windows Form AppNet Framework. So let's create our project. Let's name it Bitso Demo. Okay, nope, it should be separated. Let's look at the file. Uh, let's do this to my C sharp inform. Okay, select our framework. Let's use the latest 4.8. But if you don't have the latest framework, you can do it in 4.5. Well, let's go for 4.5. So let's create our project. There you go. First, let's close this first. Now in Visual Studio, when you open your Visual Studio, you will have here let's Now when you open your Visual Studio, you will see here the basic tall bars, default tall bars, the server explorer tall bars, data source, property window, solution explorer. Well, as you open your project, you will see the basic windows. Now let's go to the our topic. Let's hide this first. Okay, let's hide first so that I have a lot of screen space. So now let's create first a SQL connection string. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create a model for my server. Betsa demo, okay. So I'm going to create a model for my server. Let's create some property. It's string server string database. user id string password now let's create a method Let's 
create a method for the connection. As you can see, not not all code fits to all the value. So let's create a method with a return value which is true or false. So let's first create an error handler. Let's first return false. So let's return true. Well, I will explain later. I will explain later what will happen. So right now, let's create a connection string. First, you need to memorize the connection string. Server. Database. I use this UID, PWD, for this security, here. I'm using string format for string concatenation. Well, it's much easier this way than using the plus plus sign. It's much more read much more readable. It's okay. Nope. Uh, no. That is index. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. So that will be the value of 0, 1, 2, 3. So to use the SQL connection, we need to, to import using system, system that data that is SQL client. Work on SQL to new SQL connection. Let's put the connect. Let's put the connection string there. Connection that open. Connection that close. So now. Let's have a default value. I already have my credentials for my server. Database. Oops. As you can see this. If you can see this. <laughs> Oops. Unrecognized. Well, if you have something like that. Just put some add to make it a string. Carvation.
unrecognized escape sequence. Well, just put some at sign before the string to be safe. So demo bet zoo. Okay. So now we have a method to check the connection string or display the value. So let's use the form to test the connection. So let's place a button here. Okay. Let's use the preface. This is alphabetical. Let's name it test connection. Then let's name the button so that we can map it better. Well, let's check this first. I don't have the message box here for successful connection. So now let's use properties. Let's send our send. Now let's test the connection. So how to use the mo how to use our model? Our server model. Let's use that one. Var SVR is equals to new my server. Connected is equals to SVR dot connected. Its name is connected. So if is connected message box at show. Connection succeed. So now let's so let's test the project. Save and start. Test connection. Login failed for user is user Betsu. Login field, so let's check. Don't close the program yet. Oops, found it. Uh, oops, found it. <laughs> Sorry for the typo. Okay, let's run it again. Test connection. Connection succeed. Well, Let's run it. Test connection succeed. So it means we are connected to the server. So I have here the my server, which is the server name Kadalso Express 2019. Then the login credential. Our login credential, Betsu, Betsu 2020, and our 
database so let's log in first here you we have our database demo so to test on other database let's try this one my real launch LOI stop let's change the database to real launch LOI if it's connected yes it succeeded next I'm going to use the app config to store our server credential so how are we going to do that so let's first go to app config we need to create app settings so I have here my app settings ready let's place it there right I added the K name server database UID password as you can check right see it's the same but how are we going to call from app config so how are we going to call our k from app config our model to do this first we'll check if we already have the system configuration you need to add the reference the assemblies for that which is system configuration yeah let's add system configuration using system that configuration let's put that there now how are you going to call configuration manager figure manager that app settings the name of the k server then you need to convert it to two string because this is an object it will be the same database UID PWD let's save that one as you can see now let's start the project test connection succeed thank you for watching my video don't forget to follow my youtube channel so that you will be updated for my next videos. Thank you.